if you were thinking of starting Coinbase today, would you do it as a centralized or as a decentralized type effort, right? I, I'm assuming at some point this has kind of come up, whether it's uh, due to regulatory stuff, whether it's due to, to remote work or, or whatever, but how, how do you evaluate like centralization versus decentralization around Coinbase itself? And maybe even like, could you decentralize the company in the future? Or how, how do you think about all that? Yeah, that's a funny question. If I was creating it today, I mean, so I would definitely go remote first. Um, I would definitely, I think I would lean more into some decentralization aspects in the sense that like, we'd probably just put a lot of our documentation we have internally. I'd just make it all public and just do it out in the open. I think it's like good marketing. It's good transparency. We might even be like hire pseudonymous people. You know, would I do it as a DAO? So I think the DAO, the DAO tools need to still get a little bit refined um, in the sense that I think you should have a DAO as probably like the governing body of these organizations. But in local countries where you operate, you may actually still need a C-Corp that's like controlled by the DAO. Um, I, there's a company called Research Hub, which I'm helping get off the ground. And it's it's creating an online community like GitHub for science. It's, it's trying to help accelerate science and make it more like open source software. And with that structure, we actually did go and create a DAO and a C Corp. And it's been like a very interesting um, process for me to figure out what that the future of the corporation is going to look like in that world. And so I'm sort of beta testing it there, trying to iron out a lot of the details. What's super frustrating is like, there's no well-paved road. So you have to spend more with the lawyers and, and they don't, they can't give you any kind of clear answer. They're like, well, no one's done it before. So try this. It seems like a reasonable thing and we'll see how it goes. So I think my hope is that by learning from some of those experiments, like with Research Hub, we can then go and productize this at Coinbase and make it easy for anybody to create that future type of entity in just like a, you know, simple interface. You don't have to spend tens of thousands of dollars, tens of thousands of dollars with lawyers. Um, but I, yeah, that's the direction I would head for sure if I were creating a company today. Yeah, it, it is absolutely fascinating to think about how quickly all this has moved since you started Coinbase to where we are today. You know, everything from nation states adopting Bitcoin to uh, talking about, you know, tangible things around DAOs and NFTs and, and all of that. And then obviously in the next, you know, five, 10 years, uh, it'll be pretty incredible to see everything else that gets created. Um, where can we send people if they're interested in uh, working at Coinbase, following you on the internet, or, or just kind of learning more about what you and the rest of the team are doing? Yeah, well, um, Coinbase is a great place to start a crypto career. If you're trying to learn more about crypto or you want to eventually even want to start a company, I think we're a good place for that. You can check out coinbase.com slash careers. Um, you can follow us on, on Twitter, obviously, at Coinbase or uh, myself at Brian underscore Armstrong. Um, so thanks for yeah following us along and hopefully we can all keep build, building the crypto economy together. Absolutely. Well, listen, thank you so much for taking the time to do this. I know you got a million things going on. Hopefully everyone enjoyed this and we'll definitely have to do it again in the future. Yeah, that was great. Thanks for the questions and the interview. That was cool. What's up, guys? Bang, bang. Thanks so much for watching The Best Business Show today. If we're going to be The Best Business Show, we obviously need the best partner. That's why the exclusive sponsor of The Best Business Show is SoFi. They're an all-in-one platform that allows you to invest in all kinds of different assets, including stocks, ETFs, crypto, IPOs, and they even have an automated investing function, if that's your thing. So before we start getting after it again, make sure that you go download SoFi, you get an invest account, and when you make your first crypto trade, regardless of what you buy, they'll give you $10 in Bitcoin for free. It's that simple. Head on over to SoFi.com slash pomp to get started today. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope that you come back and watch more of the best business show tomorrow.